Welcome to Travel Bubble and to Nicaragua. We're currently in Granada, but before here we're in Leon. And in this episode, we're going to be showing you just what we've been getting up to. Volcanoes, islands, town exploration and more. We're here in Leon. We are stood on top of the main cathedral in the town. It has a ridiculously long name that I can't remember. Uh, so all I know is it's Cathedral of the Grace for short, and that's definitely not the short version. Uh, we're going to do some volcano boarding here. Uh, we didn't know that when we came to see the viewpoint of the city from here, we'd be able to walk on top of the cathedral. So it's really awesome. You've got amazing views of all the volcanoes in the background. Uh, it's really tropical. It's only 11 a.m. and it's about 40 degrees, and we're sweating a lot. Uh, so we're going to check out a little bit of the town and volcano boarding later on. It was super cheap to get up here, it's only 98 Cordobas, which is about $3, so about, I don't know what the current exchange is, £2.50 or something like that. Uh, it provides really great views of all over Leon. Uh, it's really interesting to see, especially their very recent troubles that they've had. Tourists are only just starting to return. Uh, we're some of the kind of first ones to come back after the recent problems that they've had. A lot of places are still shut. It's very run down because the government are keeping all the money, so if stuff looks a bit down and depleted, it's definitely for a reason. Uh, but it's really nice here, everyone seems really friendly. Um, I'm gonna check out a beautiful view. We took a walking tour to see local markets and food. Sweet treats mixed in with massive fruits and veg. The guide was very good and spoke about life in Leon, like when an alarm sounds telling everyone it's lunchtime. He also told us about how tourism collapsed and is now only starting to recover. Later, we hopped into our transport and headed out for some volcano boarding. Just 40 minutes from town, down some dusty tracks, we arrived to Cerro Negro. So we're just at the entrance to uh, the part where we hike up to the volcano, 45 minutes up. Uh, we're going to get our boards, suit, goggles, everything to protect us uh, as we go down. So these are probably going away, this is going away. Uh, we'll take the GoPro up and hopefully it won't fall over going down. We're about to start a walk, got our boards. Gemma's very scared. Going to the top of that. The boards were quite sturdy and heavy to carry, especially in the 40 degree heat up a volcano. Our group crunched our way up, getting safety information from the guide along the way. We were able to take in the views of the crater and other nearby volcanoes. Cerro Negro is the youngest volcano in Central America, having been formed in 1850. Its last eruption was in 1999, but despite this, it's still considered a highly active volcano. We suited up and away I went. After a slow start, it was tricky to pick up my feet. I wanted more speed. Eventually it got faster and I raced down. I could feel the volcano rocks burning up on the soles of my shoes and some even flew up into my face, but I made it to the bottom in one piece.
I wish there were an easier way back up to do it again, with the hindsight of knowing how the speed works. Woo! I watched some of the others shoot down, and we examined our dusty, dirty shoes, legs, arms, our whole selves basically, before riding back, literally on the back to the yard. The day concluded at the beach, watching the sunset and playing volleyball. I wasn't the best player, but I tried. It's quite early in the morning, a bit tired from our volcano day yesterday. We're getting the chicken bus to Granada via Managua. We think we're on the right one. It should be 71 Cordovas. Um, we're a bit hassled at the station. Someone was trying to get us in a minibus, but we were told it's a bus. So we're here now. Um, it's probably going to fill up quite a lot. Hopefully we get there. Fingers crossed, no major issues. The bus was very bumpy, but it got us to Granada in one piece via a changeover. In Granada, we explored the town centre there was a bustle of activity amongst the colourful colonial buildings. We took in a variety of architecture and heard local tales of abandoned buildings that nobody will live in as they're supposedly haunted. At the market, we tried the local dish called Vigoron. This is yucca, pork scratching and cabbage salad. It's not for everyone, but we liked it. This volcano behind me here, name escapes me as per usual, put it here below. Uh, it blew its top thousands of years ago and it's what forms the 365 East Letters of Granada, the small islands that we're just about to explore on the boat now. The East Lets are home to many birds and wildlife that can be explored via boat or kayaking around. We chose the boat option and our guide explained the area and types of birds we saw, from osprey to egrets, herons to hawk. The lake also offered a view of the volcano that formed the islets. We saw a huge bird nest in the trees, tiny birds and turtles, and even tinier bats. There are also about a thousand people living amongst the islands, mostly fishermen, although on some islands there are luxury holiday homes and rentals too. A few islets have some monkeys. I'm not sure how they came to be there, but they were quite playful and excited to see us, probably because they got some snacks from the guide. We got off the boat to explore a fort on one of the islets and see a view of Lake Granada, Central America's biggest lake. After, we headed back to the mainland to relax before our next adventure. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you have, please hit the like button and subscribe as there will be a bit more from Central America and we'll see you in the next episode.